you are right on time for your daily sports updates right here on KTN News. My name is Lynn Washira and we kick off the bulletin with some hockey news. Where Telkom Hockey team on Sunday afternoon clinched the Kenya Hockey Union Women's Premier League title in style after a 6 nil thrashing of multimedia university hockey team at the City Park Hockey Stadium in Nairobi. Telkom scored three goals in each half to seal the comfortable win in securing their 20th title. No team has been able to end Telkom's dominance in the Kenya Hockey Union League. Meanwhile, Butali Warriors beat Kenyatta University 3-0 in the men's Premier League match of the day, while a match between Vikings Hockey Club and Kenyatta University in women's Premier League ended in a barren draw. <laughs> Uh, we are very happy as a team. We, are ex we have been working towards it, we have been expecting it, and we expect to win even the 21st, 25th, 30th. So we are working towards it each and every time, each and every month. A good start for Telcom Kenya. Uh, like you know, uh, this is a totally different kind of uh, team now, considering that Telcom Orange is now gone. It's Telcom Kenya. This is the first trophy we are handing over to Telcom Kenya. And I hope we'll continue the trend in the club champs too. And the national under-19 cricket team began her Cricket World Cup on a bad footing and losing to South Africa in her opening match in Lincoln. South Africa captain Reynard Van Tonda struck the third highest score by a South African in under-19 ODIs matching uh, De Villiers, a 143 from nearly 15 years ago in the match. Van Tonda nearly batted all the way through to finish with 14 fours and five sixes to lay the groundwork for a hoping 169 run victory. Uh, Just Raj Kundi, who was Kenya's best bowler, made 41 of only 53 balls with five fours to help ensure the full quarter of 50 overs was used. In chess, at Daphne Mwikali beat Sash Mongeli in the fourth round of the second phase chess Olympiad at the KCB Sports Club. The victory ensured Mwikali had four points going into the last two rounds of the tournament. Uh, Jane Wambugu found the going tough after she drew with Gloria Jumba uh, in another match. In other resorts, uh, Winfred Thoitu defeated Lucy when Jiro while Aurelia Chumba was victorious against Lucy Nyaboke. <laughs> Chances are high that uh, this time we will perform well uh, because in the past we have had um, an ambush, I can say. But this time we are preparing early. By February we will have a team and we will invite uh, a GM coach who will take through the team to training. By the time the tournament comes we will be very, very well prepared. And 21 talented footballers from Taita Taveta County were picked to be part of the official county football team that will be run by the county government. Hundreds of young people turned up for the trials. Successful candidates will be assimilated as full county employees as they seek to take part in various competitions with the Kenya Premier League, their main target. As a county, we have decided to, uh, to start this initiative so that we create a polemic for, for, the, for these young boys. And as you know, football nowadays pays. So we want to make them understand that being in this is also employment. Mm. So to me as a trial, we want to form a team in the county, and to me as all the sub-counties. And further afield, Morocco kicked off their 2018 African Nations Cup Chan campaign on a high note with a convincing 4-0 win over Mauritania in the opening match. A brace from Ayub El Kabi and a goal each from Ismail El Ahadad and Acharaf Ben Chaki gave the host a strong start in Group A that also has Sudan and Guinea. You had to look over on that far post to see if the flag had gone up. It all came from nothing. The wonderful touch. And Morocco have gone ahead. The first goal of this fifth edition. And it's scored by the centre forward, Ayoud El Kabi. Jabira and an opportunity coming out wide to the right hand side. El Kabi with a shot. It's gone in. It's soon out. The goalkeeper, Suleiman, couldn't keep it in. And that is just come at the right time for Morocco. Two goals to nil. The Atlas Lions have uh, really made this very comfortable for themselves now in the second half. Oh, Haddad. 
Liverpool picked up there in the midfield by Sadie. Well, they've got... Oh, that was just a bit of a giveaway. Good opportunity here. The shot is 3-0. It's 3-0. Ayud El Kabi scored a brace. And a fine strike. Acres of space over on this left-hand side. Morocco are on fire. Hafidi done that. Oh, that's a great ball. It surely is going to be four. Oh, that is such a classy finish. Ben Sharkey. A concisive and very strong statement that's just been made to all of the other teams competing here in Morocco. And two English Premier League matches were played today with Bournemouth playing Arsenal and Liverpool taking on Manchester City. Good ball, Bellerin. Arsenal's big chance. Yes. And it does cross the line almost apologetically. Begovic's got a big chunk of it. Good football, that no doubt about that. Quality football from Arsenal. Well, to put this game to bed. Mousset, Fraser, early cross towards Wilson. Ball with a level. The cherries have dug deep. And Callum Wilson marks his 100th game for the club. Wilson. And I. Really, this is our Arsenal have allowed this to happen. Credit him, credit Jordan I've I mentioned. He's worked hard today. He's tried to be positive. He caught the game up very well, but okay. and that does it for tonight's edition of KTN Sports. My name is Lynn Washira. Thank you very much for tuning in, but be sure to join Robinson Okenya tomorrow at 9 p.m. with more sporting highlights. Have a good night.